fabulous, isn't it? I keep saying that's terrible. In a two in a, are you good. feeling positive? Because both your categories are really tough, aren't oh. they? No, I'm not feeling remotely oh, yeah. positive. No, 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 not positive, at all. Yeah. No, no. Totally. It's in the bag. <laughs> So Kate, who's your money on then to beat you? I, you know, it's been such an amazing oh, year for fair. women. Yeah. No, but I have to say, it really has. And actually, the supporting actress category, I think, is the one category that's been really talked about. People have been floating in and out of the category throughout award season. So to, to just be here, it just feels really good. Yeah. One of the big issues that everyone's talking about this year, is, especially in terms of the Oscars, is the lack of diversity in terms of stories. Do you think that's an issue? Do you think the film industry needs to do more, really? Yes, absolutely. I think it's uh, something that needs to happen at the grassroots, you know. I, I know personally when I get a script, the lead characters will always be presumed to be white unless it specifies otherwise. And, uh, and I think, you know, change needs to happen at the grassroots. Uh, so it's good that it's coming to the front now and, and people are discussing it and hopefully we'll start seeing some change. Last year you did so sensationally brilliant. This year you're nominated again. Do you kind of feel like the pressure's a little bit off this year? Oh, do you know what? It feels amazing to be invited back, frankly. Um, we had an amazing time making The Danish Girl and it was an intense film to make, but a wonderful one. And, and you, you, know, you, you hope that the story resonates and being here, you hope that that validates that in some way. An absolutely beautiful film and a very brave film and a very timely film. It's, um, it's about transgender, an issue which is getting more and more attention all the time. Isn't absolutely. It? I mean, I, I suppose one of the things that sort of astounded me is that certainly in the past two years, trans issues have come to the forefront of media attention, but it's almost a hundred years since Gerda and Lily's story. It's kind of shocking that it's taken quite so long, and, and I hope, um, I, I just hope that the film in some way continues the discussion. I was blown away by your film. It's absolutely my favourite of the year. I mean, it's such Thanks. a gorgeous, gorgeous portrayal of homesickness. It, it was very personal to you, wasn't it, this story? It was, yeah. I mean, it was very, very important for me, um, kind of as soon as possible, to be involved in an Irish film and to be involved in an Irish film that I felt was really kind of going to represent us and it could be something that we were we were proud of. and. Um, and so I think with that came an awful lot of responsibility, but this felt like the right first Irish project to take on. And, and the fact that it was about leaving home and I had just left home myself, it made it even more emotional for oh, me. I was so. weeping, absolutely yeah. weeping, because it's about a girl who goes over to New York in the 50s from Ireland, isn't it? And it's, um, it is. it's very touching. It is, and you know, you can sort of specifically say, okay, it's about Ireland and it's about America and that sort of alliance and relationship, but it's really just about anyone who's ever left home. And you, I'm sure you felt that way when you left home at first, and I know I did, and everyone goes through that stage where they don't quite know where they belong anymore. Um, and that's what the film is kind of focused on, is her coming to terms with that and accepting it and overcoming it. Oh, I, honestly, I've just, I felt like I was pregnant for years with a baby called Star Wars. Um, and when Star Wars came out, it, it, it didn't belong to us the way it used to. So it, it, it's, it's good to share the excitement with everybody now. Yeah. Um, something that we're all talking about this year in the Oscars and the BAFTAs is the lack mm. of diversity in the mm. film industry. Is yeah. it something that you think is an issue that something more needs to be done about? Yeah, I think the conversation is great, but I think I'm an ind individual person and I want to be the change I want to see. So I'm, I'm out here working and making sure that that gets done. But uh, the conversation is definitely positive and continue that. It was more for, for me when I read the script. I, I was kind of, um, I couldn't believe that I didn't know more about this couple. Even online, it was hard for me to find any information, and that the, you know, that the first gender confirmation surgery happened so early on. Uh, so for me, I just felt more, you know, most of all, just excited to be part of telling a story that I, I was happy that I got introduced to myself through the script.